Walking through Guayaquil, Ecuador, Julio Novello is on a mission. The man who stole a bucket of gold in Manhattan says the game is up. You're done. Yeah, it's done. It's done. I took the decision maybe a month ago. That decision to work with the NYPD against the woman he once loved. I realize, just realize now, how the money changed her mind. More than a million dollars. That's how much Nivello says his ex-lover has stashed in New Jersey. It's cash he got from exchanging that stolen gold on the black market. They had plans to run off together after Nivello fled the country. Well, we can buy a house, even though Barcelona or Madrid. But Nivello only made it to Ecuador before local authorities arrested him. Under an agreement with the U.S., he was locked up last year in his home country. Nine months behind bars, he says, was a small price to pay. I was pretty sure I was in safety hands. She loves me. I love her. But Nivello, who called the woman his, quote, fiance, really should have known better. She always promised me to leave her husband. Yes, the golden boy's girl was married. And when Nivello got out, she had other plans. She denied to tell me where is the money. Wow. At that point, I was like a feeling the cold ice water. Just 24 hours after that interview, there was another plot twist no one saw coming. You got a phone call that you never expected. It wasn't expected. Wow. My heart's still bumping, you know? After months of silence, Nivello's ex called. Yeah, I recognize her voice. Incredibly, she said she was in Guayaquil. Law enforcement sources confirmed to the I-team it was true. But why here? Why now? Ecuadorian police believe someone may have spotted the I-team around town with Nivello and alerted her. What she said is, I want to see you. So we loaded up, ready for a reunion. What's going through your mind right now? It's like a shocking feeling, you know, but it's no go back. But then, for more than two hours, the woman played a bizarre game of cat and mouse with Julio, promising to meet at a location, then changing it or not showing up. Ecuadorian police believe she knew the I-team was along for the ride. As the afternoon faded into the night, Nivello realized it wasn't happening. Why she play games? Even if she didn't make the phone call, you know, I could be cool. She has the money, she has the, the pot in their hands. So she knows what she is doing. Law enforcement sources tell the I-team the woman is now back in New Jersey. We tried to reach out to her but got no response. The NYPD declined to comment on this story, saying this is an open and very active investigation. In Midtown, I'm Mark Santia, News for New York.